Lindsay on Gears. Let's have a look at uh, what's happening in the world of uh, motorsport and Formula One. Just to let you know, two cars uh, are going to be replaced this week. Ferrari's Felipe Massa, after the two big shunts that he had in Monaco, and Williams's Pastor Maldonado will both have new chassis for this coming weekend's Canadian Grand Prix. Um, well, I tell you, there's a little bit of stuff going on at the moment, which is a bit concerning in terms of cost cutting and everyone's going on about the 2014 um, engine selections and the V6 engines and who's going to be able to afford it and who's not going to be able to afford it and who's going to still be in Formula One. Uh, we'll let the uh, technical teams work those things out. out. Uh, big rumor going uh, on at the moment is that uh, James Allison, the guy from Lotus, remember he left there? Yes. And we all thought maybe he's going to go to Ferrari. Now there's a big link that he might go to Red Bull Racing to replace none other than the god of design, Adrian Newey. Mm -hmm. Maybe Newey wants to retire again from the world of Formula One. Is there lots of moving that goes on? Oh, lots one? of moving. Lots of moving. Swings and roundabouts, Daisy. <laughs> um, also, Adrian Newey, just to let you know, he was taking part. He, Adrian Newey builds race cars for himself and he races cars as well. And this is a little bit um, unfortunate. He was racing last weekend in the UK and on the outlap he was warming up the car. You know, And you know the drivers there move the car from side to side to get some heat into the tyres. Well, he moved the car from side to side, put his foot down and crashed into the wall. <laughs> Shame. Not so cool. Uh, on the outlap as well. Hmm. R amazingly, uh, this is quite interesting because Red Bull and Ferrari have been going at each other quite a lot over the last couple of months. But all of a sudden, Ferrari have got a, um, well, I don't know, a, 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 f a friend in the sense of uh, Red Bull. And Red Bull have joined on to Ferrari's side and said Ferrari's test with Pirelli has no relevance whatsoever compared to the one that Mercedes did with Pirelli. The FIA called Ferrari in to discuss what happened with their test with Pirelli um, as they tried to find out what happened with the Mercedes test. And I think it was only right that they did that because we had to decide, um, you know, did Ferrari benefit from the the test with Pirelli and did Mercedes benefit the major difference is Ferrari used a 2010 version of their Formula One car whereas Mercedes used the 2013 version and I think that is uh, the major problem uh, at all um, as well other news uh, that has come out Bridgestone have ruled out a return to Formula One I think this is all just a little bit of gamesmanship between uh, Formula One management and the tyre companies. Pirelli want to re-sign the deal. Okay. And I think what's happening is uh, Formula One management are now trying to sit there and get a best deal possible that they can from Pirelli. Hancock have ruled it out. Bridgestone have uh, ruled it out. The only one that I could ever see perhaps would have a chance to, to do it would be Michelin. And I don't think they're ready to come back to Formula One um, as yet as well. Alain Pross says Formula One test limit is the biggest challenge to the 2014 rules. Basically what happens is next year we've got new engines. We've got um, the main biggest change in Formula One in 25 years. And yet they still are so limited in the amount of testing that they can do. The biggest fear that everybody has in the Formula One world is that one of the, tire, uh, one of the engine manufacturers, which will be Ferrari, Renault or Mercedes, could get it, could find the holy grail for next year and completely dominate the championship, which then leaves the other two um, uh, manufacturers to now play pack catch up and spend huge amounts of money, but with no testing. So we just got to hope that all three of them have the same similar kinds of engines for uh, 2014 as well. Um, there we go. That's a bit of a look at uh, the world of Formula One today. Of course, uh, don't forget tonight, Absolute F1 at half past seven. And then uh, we'll be catching up tomorrow with Ernie Black, who is on the train at the moment on his way to Montreal to the Canadian Grand Prix. At the next intersection, turn on. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.